Uh, there's good evidence for risk stratification by characterizing multiple interventional techniques into low, moderate, and high risk. Also, their risk should be upgraded based on other risk factors. Well, that makes sense. Number two, there's good evidence for the risk of thromboembolic events in patients who interrupt antithrombotic therapy. Of course, everyone in the room knows that. Number three, there's good evidence supporting discontinuation of low-dose aspirin for high-risk and moderate-risk procedures for at least three days. There's moderate evidence that there may be that these may be continued for low risk or some intermediate risk procedures. Uh, and I, I, I think if it's, again, we'll go through low, medium, and high risk procedures on one of the slides that's coming up, but I think this is reasonable and certainly not controversial.